musically. Um, examples, heroes, and why? One of my um, one of my first ever memories, not just musical memories, but one of my first ever memories as uh, as a kid was hearing loads of noise downstairs, coming down the stairs, walking into the kitchen, and um, and my mum was playing. It was either Honky Tonk Women or Brown Sugar, and I can't remember which, but just playing the Rolling Stones really, really loud. And I haven't got a clue what it was, because I don't think at that age you appreciate what music necessarily is. But I just remember just thinking, this is brilliant, whatever it is, I like it, it's loud, it sounds good. And um, that's probably one of my earliest influences. And, you know, I, I really like the Stones, and, and I've done ever since that. And, um, and also The Who as well. I remember, remember listening to The Who. And, uh, and just thinking, this is amazing. This is this is what this is what sound should be. Do you know what I mean? You know, at, at, at a young age, and um, and then sort of Oasis came out, and um, just sort of just made sense at the time. And I think that I think Oasis provided a soundtrack to most of my generation. You know, I think that I think that pretty much everyone our age is or at some point was. Massively into Oasis, mm. and uh, like Blur as well. The blur, Verve, genius, yeah. The Verve, Urban also Hymns Blur, album. yeah, yeah. And and um, and and what you do is you look at those bands as well. You look at Oasis and you look at the Verve, and you start going back. You start looking at their influences, and then you find people like T Rex, and you go, oh, actually, you know, T Rex are brilliant as well. And and you discover David Bowie, and I mean, I'm a massive Bowie fan. Yeah. I think that I think that Life on Mars is probably the best song that anyone's ever written, and. Um, He's just a genius songwriter, but I mean, you know, our musical taste is is massively diverse as well. That's you know, that's like a handful of maybe our most listened to bands. But but he's into to really weird jazz fusion stuff. Okay. And, um, yeah. You know, I expect a little, uh, well, punk bands like maybe Sex Pistols. Or yeah, something? Sex Pistols oh, yeah, as definitely. well. Okay. Vocal delivery yeah. from the Sex Pistols is just absolutely genius, and I think that the whole ethic of just going out there. I mean, when we go out and play a gig every night. What, what you're essentially seeing is just three lads having, having really good fun. You know, we go out there and we love it every night. You go out and you give it 200%. And um, it's, it's one of the best feelings in the world. And you can see when you watch bands like the Sex Pistols and the Who. Um, the Clash as well. And the, yeah, the Clash. They're, they're just going out there loving it, having fun. And it's nice when you, when you see that and you recognise that feeling that they're having. You know, mm. uh, and you can just, you just look at them playing and you think, I know exactly how you feel. And it's, it's a really euphoric feeling. Yeah. So you go out um, having a good, having a good time, giving people a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I mean, it's what's better than than driving around the country or, or Europe now, apparently, with with your two <laughs> best mates, you know, in in a, in a van or or a bus or whatever, and it's it's brilliant fun. It's a million miles away from selling TVs. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you. It's brilliant. <laughs>